Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Duane will receive the morning offering and I'd like to welcome all of you here today. God bless you. Looking forward to the Word of God and uh, can't wait to see what I'm going to say. I know that may sound a little strange, but since I'm not a noted speaker, I don't use notes and uh, <laughs> we'll just see what happens. But I'm trusting the Lord to help us because we sure do need Him. Amen. I would like to mention that uh, the new bulletin board is up corresponding with the May issue of the newsletter. And there is a picture on there of the hand reaching for a crown out in space that our scientists have found. They can't explain it. It's a gigantic, looks like a blue hand. And there's a, it was pointed out to me by, by Joy. Uh, sometimes names just fit, don't they? Joy. Anyway, Joy pointed out to me that in the, there's a bright light in the midst of that hand, right where the nails would, a nail would go through. So it's amazing when you look at it. We did make hundreds of copies of these because I offered it in the newsletter and we're going to be getting, we're already getting a lot of requests for it. So if anyone here would like one, we had large copies made of the picture. It's, it's absolutely awesome. If you want to see what it looks like, it's on the right side of the bulletin board. And you can check that out later if you can't see it from where you are. The hand is reaching for a crown. And it's out in space. Signs in the heavens. Amen. So that thrills my soul. We're going to take a moment and pray for the offering. Father in heaven, we thank thee for this offering thou hast brought forth. And I pray that thou wouldst bless it as we cheerfully give it to thy work. Let it be sanctified of thee and used to the glory of thy name and of thy kingdom. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. All right. Amen. Glory to God and hallelujah. We are going to sing a chorus as we go into the scripture this morning. I'm going to have you turn with me to John chapter 14 in your King James Bible. If you don't have a King James Bible, we'll get you one. Amen. All right. We're going to sing the chorus, Keep on walking by faith. Keep on. need to get excited about what the Lord has done for us. Amen. I'd like to welcome you to where many are called. If you are chosen, it's better than being where many are called and if you are frozen, right? You know, the church world today is quite dead. It really is. And I don't think we need to, to be getting involved in dead rituals and vain repetition. We need to get into the Word of God, let the Lord stir our hearts, you see, salvation doesn't come through a church. It doesn't come through any kind of a structured system at all, but it comes directly from God's throne to your heart. People look in all the wrong places. They really do. You can reach out and find Jesus Christ anywhere, anytime. And I encourage you to do it. Amen. What we're going to do this morning is... Begin in John chapter 14, but first we need to call upon the Lord 
and ask that he would give us ears to hear. Father in heaven, we humbly approach thy throne, O God, knowing that we are helpless without thee. Without thee we can do nothing. We have no ability without thee, O God. But Lord, by thy strength and by thy help, by thy might and by the glory of thy name, we know that we will prevail. Lord, give us exceeding great faith this morning, faith for miracles, faith for healing, faith for salvation. O oh Lord, I pray that by thy spirit thou wouldst move upon us. Remove all doubt and fear. Let every unclean spirit and every force of darkness and every hindering power be driven out from this place. And let the power of thy Holy Spirit, even the Holy Ghost, indwell us, sweep over our souls. O oh Lord, endue us with power from on high. Stir our hearts and souls, O oh God, and help us to respond to the impetus of thy love. Lord Jesus, we yield ourselves unto thee. Give us ears to hear and help us to understand that we might magnify thy name together. And in Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. We are in John chapter 14. We're going to call this message, and it won't be obvious why I gave it this title until later on. We're going to call this message, The Shout of a King. The Shout of a King. In John chapter 14, Jesus gave us some very timely words, because as you know, the condition the world is in is not good. And there are a lot of people, I hear from them all the time, I get many, many letters. I had 150 letters on my desk yesterday. Try to wade through that. It takes a little time. And then the phone rings, and I'll tell you what, if you don't think I'm busy, follow me around for a day or two, and I'll give you some of my work. But anyway, <clears throat> uh, there are so many people writing to me and telling me how they're depressed, they're fearful, they're troubled, they're challenged, and they don't know what to do. Of course, many people are claiming to be Christian, and I don't want to doubt anybody. If they love the Lord, I'll believe it until I see an opposite manifestation. But there, there's all of this concern and dread and fear and worry and depression and all these heavy things that the devil will throw on people. But Jesus said, and take his words as being words of power, he said in John 14, let not your heart be troubled. You know, there are many things we could be troubled about with everything falling apart all around us. But we look beyond all of that. We look to the promises of God, which are sure. Listen, if God makes you a promise, it's good. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And that promise of salvation, that promise of the infilling of the Holy Ghost, does not the Word of God tell us the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are afar off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call? And if you wonder why I get excited, I feel the Spirit of God flowing. I believe what I'm telling you today. I'm not up here to give you some kind of a speech. I believe what I'm saying. I believe what I'm reading. I believe what I'm hearing from God. And it excites me. There's nothing in this world that is going to sustain you. You need God today. Amen. Don't walk out the door without him. Come on. Now, he said, let not your heart be troubled. Has my heart ever been troubled? I'd have to tell you yes. I've had to go through many, many things in my life. Difficult things, horrible things, things that challenged me. Sometimes you wonder, how am I going to ever make it through? But something carried me through. I'm shouting the victory today. Amen. Don't worry about where you have been and don't let the devil trouble you about what you have done or your past life or whatever. Don't let him do that. That is, doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. It's under the blood of Jesus Christ. You are a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. All things have become new. You can't build on that which God took from you. So they don't, don't even think about it. 